Here we are aboard the 29-foot uh, 1992 Formula. Beautiful boat, brand new engines, maybe 20 hours on them. You can look at them, you can tell. A couple of Mercruiser big blocks, V8 Bravos, Bravo 2 uh, outdrives uh, attached to these. Uh, freshwater cooled with your heat exchangers, you can see those here. Uh, manifolds and uh, risers are obviously new as well. And uh, there's your holding tank right over there in the corner, and there is a uh, sensor in that holding tank, and that tells you when it has to be emptied. And now we'll go forward here. You can close that hatch now if you want, David. Thank you. Here's your helm. Nice controls, uh, throttle and shift, dual controls, uh, shift for each one and uh, throttle for each one. Uh, this is the uh, spotlight uh, controller. And here's your helm, everything's handy, all your gauges. Hours, uh, as we said on the engines, uh, since they were put in maybe 20 hours. Uh, there are a few, there are a few uh, GPS's here, the B&G GPS, which you really didn't use much. And there's a Fiorono. This is radar as well as radar, GP right. Is there GPS as well? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Okay, it I looks like it's a... Uh, I was gonna buy a portable GPS. Uh, it comes on and it, uh, and it works and anything, but I just Okay, this it. does have a GPS and it's radar as well. Superimposed, Fiorino, good brand. Working compass, you can look out the front deck here. Extensive deck, nice for sunbathing. You put a mat out there, you can just sunbathe. There's a remote spotlight way out front and there's your anchor road and chain uh, with a uh, horizontal windlass. Going into the cabin, there's step down. Drain on the steps in case the rain comes in or water. And uh, you get nice Lexan doors uh, and allow you to enter the cabin. And uh, it's a very spacious cabin for this size boat. It's got a nice uh, V berth up front. Looks like about a queen size bed. Nice big dinette with cushions, and I don't see any visible defects on any of the cushions. Behind the uh, door right here is all your control panels. There's your entertainment center with your tape player and radio. Uh, here's your 12 volt breaker panel. And right next to it is your 120 breaker panel and uh, generator controls. You said you do not have a generator. Yeah, there's there's no generator. I'm Why does it have a generator? It has a generator well, control panel. Well, it used to have one. Oh, okay. But it was... Uh, so a generator can be put in and just wired up because the controls are here automatically, and here's your air conditioning control unit on the end. Mm -hmm. Now, if we move along, we can uh, look at the head and the galley. Here is the uh, galley. Nice stainless steel sink. Microwave and uh, has a flat screen TV over it, and so you can lay in bed and watch TV or sit at the table and watch TV. There's a stove under here, which is shown in the still pictures, and a nice size refrigerator and plenty of storage, especially uh, here. These drawers for silverware and whatnot. Looks like uh, somebody who's going to have a party, they get enough silverware to f use it for 25 people. And uh, several drawers. There's also storage underneath the bunk, the uh, forward berth right here. And there's a hanging closet with a mirror right here. You can see this. And there's your hanging closet. You can hang uh, just about anything in there. Plenty of lights. Plenty of, plenty of lights. Nice, nice lights. This uh, cabin gets well lit up when these lights get turned on. There's three over the bunk alone. There's two over the dinette area. And there's one over the galley, or two over the galley. And here's your aft cabin. That folds in, opens up into a regular uh, queen size bed. And there is a, a table there which goes into the cockpit if you want to dine in the cockpit. And here's the head. Uh, nice clean head. Mirror in good shape right there. You can see the mirror. Stainless steel sink with a single hand faucet. Very nice. Uh, this is your sensor for your holding tank. It tells you when it has to be emptied, how full it is, etc. Um, a manual flush head right there. And 
big storage area under the sink and to the left of the, under the sink as well. Uh, and it has a shower contained here. You can take a shower in here just by pulling the curtains around. And uh, there's a drain for the shower, and I'm sure there's a shower sump pump as well. Now we'll go and look at the uh, cockpit and the outside of the boat. Now this is the cockpit. Nice uh, seating area back here, a nice long chaise to sit on. And uh, boat's well taken care of. The cushions are in great shape. The canvas, uh, which is uh, over the helm area, it's brand new last year. And uh, they're manually turned on the lights. And there's your radar radome for your funeral radar and your Garmin GPS uh, antenna. Okay, now we're exiting the uh, cockpit through a transom door. There's a large, very large twin platform back here, no fiberglass. Uh, monolithic with the hull. You can see that it's monolithic instead of just bolted in. Uh, also big tow rings back here. And there's your shore power outlet and a uh, pull-out ladder to uh, exit or to get onto or to exit the uh, swim platform. And here we have the uh, out drives, Bravo 2's look that like. A brand new out drive. And the other one. This one? Yeah, that's brand new. This out drive is new. And the other one. And the other one is in place. pretty good shape too. Uh, the zincs are there. They probably need replacing, but that's a yearly thing. Bennett hydraulic uh, trim tabs, you can see. Large trim tabs, so it must work well. Boat we'll probably moves very well. It's got two big blocks in it. The hull looks to be in good shape. We we'll use a soda blasting some year, but the, it looks like a, a, a blade of paint has been used on it, so it's not a big buildup of bottom paint, which is good. And this is the hull. Rub rail's in good shape, no chunks out of it or anything. So, there's your model number, the F29. And you can see the uh, cockpit windshield and the new canvas with the radar arch, which is removable if you have to trailer it, but who's gonna trailer a boat this big? And your hull looks to be in good shape. Looks like it was power washed at the end of the year. Not a bit of growth on it at all. Hull is in very nice shape. No visible defects. Looks like it was waxed last year. Uh, this is the uh, view of the bow rail and the bow pulpit. Solid fiberglass composite with uh, your anchor, damn for the anchor. And uh, your lift, lift ring. And this is the starboard side of the hull. Looks to be in nice condition, very nice condition. Even when the painting was done, they were very careful not to impinge on the waterline. This is the rest of the hull. You can see it. It was just recently unwrapped. So it was shrink wrapped all winter. There's your shrink wrap. And just moving around to the other side. There's your vent right there. Vents for your gas tanks. And uh, there's your formula logo and name.